So, not a, uh, not a bad backdrop, right? Before I left for this trip, a company uh, named PGY Tech reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in giving their new line of photography gloves a try. They call these their professional photography gloves, and then these uh, slightly larger ones are the master gloves. Now these gloves are very similar. I mean, they're both made of you know more or less the same material, uh, similar design, similar construction, similar warmth, except there's one key difference with the master gloves, and the master gloves have heat. You just long press on the power button, and then you have a choice between low, medium, or high heat. And that heat is provided by a rechargeable USB-C lithium battery. Now these batteries are actually pretty cool because these batteries connect to an integrated uh, USB-C cable that is uh, in the glove, so the cable stays in the glove at all times. You're not going to lose it. You just connect the battery to the glove, and then there's a little Velcro pouch uh, in here that you stick the battery in, and then the battery is on the back of your wrist back here. One nice thing is that obviously uh, they are removable. So if you are, say, traveling somewhere like I did on this trip and you have to put your lithium batteries in your carry-on bag, well, you can easily remove these from the gloves, put them in your carry-on, and then pack the gloves themselves in your checked luggage. But the other cool and really smart thing about these little uh, batteries is that they are also power banks uh, because they have a USB-C port uh, in them. So if you have a USB-C cable, you could connect this to your camera, you could connect it to uh, like a wireless microphone, you could connect it to uh, your phone. It's not the kind of thing you probably want to use all the time, but in a pinch, if, uh, if you really need some power and you have your, <laughs> your gloves in the bag and your batteries are charged, you can absolutely use this to uh, provide a little extra power. Now, another small difference between the master gloves and the professional gloves, besides the master being heated, is that the master gloves have an additional flap here, the kind of flap that, you know, once you put your hand in, the flap goes over the fingers and provides you with a little additional warmth. And the back of the flap has a little zippered pocket here on the back that you could use, like, to, I don't know, put an SD card in or an extra battery or uh, whatever you need uh, to store there. It's just a nice little extra spot for something. The index and the uh, middle finger and the thumb all have uh, touchscreen compatible material on them. I tested these on my phone. I tested these like in the car that I'm driving on the touchscreen and they always work. They always work perfectly fine. So that's nice. But then there are situations where you need to operate, you know, something on the camera, like you need to, you know, focus or maybe turn a dial on the camera. You know what I mean? Like small little fiddly things. And when you have, you know, a glove on, even with, you know, touchscreen compatible fingertips, it's a bit much. So what they designed these gloves to do is that the same fingers, the, uh, the uh, index and the middle and the thumb, they all uh, fold backwards. And they have magnets on the back here. There's one magnet here and one further back. And the, and the top of the fingertip magnetizes to the back. So they stay uh, in place on the back of the glove and they don't like flop around or anything. Then the rest of your hand stays warm. I'm sure I look pretty silly right now. The rest of your hand stays warm but you're able to you know, adjust the dials in your camera, push buttons, those little fiddly things, whatever it is you need to do. So again, I've been using these gloves over the past week and uh, I've been wearing both of them on different days. And the thing that I've noticed wearing these is that these are definitely wintertime gloves. I mean, they are, they are fairly heavy, they are well insulated. I also found them to be a little much, a little warm when hiking, even when it was cold. Like my hands would get, you know, kind of warm in them and they weren't as comfortable. Like I would prefer in that situation and in, you know, somewhat warmer temperatures too, I would prefer a lighter, thinner glove in those situations, like a thinner, like a liner glove or a cotton glove, something like that. These are definitely gloves that are made for cold temperatures. So the situations in which these gloves have come in really handy for me are the situations when, well, one, it's been you know, with temperatures right around freezing when it's been, you know, pretty cold. And also when I'm stationary, when I'm not, you know, moving around, when I'm just standing behind a camera freezing. Those are the situations in which these gloves have felt the most appropriate and the nicest, especially having that extra heated uh, element 
in the master glove. So if you are thinking about getting, you know, either the professional or the master gloves and you're trying to decide, you know, which is better for you, you know, one, I would just, you know, first consider, you know, how often you would, you know, actually, in, you know, use these gloves. Like if you have like, it's say a trip coming up to like, Iceland in winter, or maybe you're going up to Canada, like to Banff or Jasper or something like that, where it's gonna be snowy and icy and cold, and you're gonna want some wintertime gloves and you intend to go out and do photography. Yeah, I mean, these gloves would be absolutely perfect for that. The Master Gloves are two and a half times more. I'll put the prices up here on screen. So they are, uh, you know, a good bit more expensive compared to the professional. But then again, the Master Gloves can be used in more you know, situations because, you know, obviously you can use the master gloves without turning on uh, the heated uh, element. Like you could just, you know, turn off the heat and then these gloves are more or less the same as the professional gloves, just with that additional, you know, flap for your fingers and, and the option of turning on heat if you want it. So in that sense, I think the master gloves are, are worth the extra money because it means that they are more useful in more situations. The only con with these gloves I can think of is that these gloves are, you know, kind of like an all or nothing situation because before I had these gloves, my typical setup was to wear uh, like a thin liner glove and then an additional like winter glove on top of that. And when, you know, temperatures began to warm up a little bit, I could take the outer glove off and then have a thinner one, um, you know, but when you're wearing these gloves, you either wear them or you don't, or you change gloves, in other words. Otherwise, I think both are really well designed. I think they're perfect for doing photography and videography work in, in cold, wintry conditions, especially if you are shooting in the snow, doing wildlife photography, landscape work, uh, and you're standing behind a camera and you want your hands to be warm when doing so, these will definitely do the job. So if you'd like to learn more about these photography gloves from uh, PGY Tech and perhaps pick up a pair for yourself, there's a link down below in the video description you may use. And PGY Tech also provided me with a coupon code that you can also use, that's down there too, uh, that you can use to save a little bit of money as well. Thanks also to uh, PGY Tech for providing me with the gloves for review and also for shipping these to me so quickly. I had to get these rather quickly because I was leaving soon and they shipped them out and yeah, their, their timing was absolutely perfect. So thank you for being here. Uh, if you would like to do this again, remember to subscribe to this channel down below. And if this video was helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up as well. That's it for me, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you next time.